Our next guest is an expert in all things miniature. Briar Nielsen is a highly skilled artist who creates detailed replicas of mini homes, furniture, and other real life objects. Briar's creativity earned her a spot on the TV show Best in Miniature, where she'll compete against other artists for a $15,000 cash prize. And she deserves every cent. <laughs> Briar joins me now this morning. Uh, Briar, you've created like my dream home. Hi. Hi. Um, this is amazing. Uh, talk me or take me through what you brought here and how you create this. It's incredible. So I brought a variety of things. I have some of my dollhouse miniatures here. I really love making clean, modern interiors and basically anything I can't have in real life, I make in miniature oh for my myself. Gosh. But I kind of have my alter ego here where I like to make rundown, kind of urban and decaying scenes with these convenience stores and the psychic house. How do you even start to create things like this? Because I look at it and it's, it's like you've, I've bought it on like an Etsy shop or in a store, but obviously you're not buying these things, you're building them. How do you make them? Some, it's just taking things through your imagination and seeing the mechanics of how you think you can shrink it down and what materials you can use. So the rattan on this furniture is cross-stitch fabric. Cross-stitch fabric, yes. seriously? Yeah, so that's how you can make it look like miniature rattan furniture. Do you, like, how do you know that? Do you Google that or do you see it in store and you're like, oh, that would be perfect for You this. do a lot of browsing, going to any kind of store and you look at everything and you're like, what could this be? Even all of your garbage at home, nothing goes into the trash. You kind of have a look at it and you're like, this could be a flower pot or this could be a propane tank. Like so, this, like tell, tell our viewers at home, what are the propane tanks made of? You'll never guess. So these are actually the inside of Kinder Eggs, what contain the toys. It's like, it's just incredible. Were you, were you always like this? Like, are you an artist at heart and you, like in school when you did projects, was this your go-to or was this something that you found later in life? I was always very creative as a kid and a teenager, and everyone in my family is. Somehow I ended up in business school. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just really wanted to live in Toronto and going to business school got me here at that time. And then later, uh, about four years ago, I really, like got back into my miniatures and I haven't stopped since. So is this like the full-time gig for you now or is this still the side hustle? This is my full-time gig now since last spring. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about this? I think it's just making things in your mind possible. Every time when I'm making it, sometimes it's so tedious and I'm like, why do I like this? This is crazy. <laughs> you have what I call mid-project regret syndrome. Yes. It's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it's finished and I look at it, I was like, this is amazing. This is so cool. And I just love it. Like teeny tiny things are so cute. I have to ask, like, does your house look like this? Because this is honestly like this farmhouse rustic style is like my dream. Is this what your house looks like? Uh, this is what I aspire to be, <laughs> but I am not this tidy so Fair. yeah this is goals for me goals. I love it you create your goals in mini and then you put them in real life so season two of best in miniature has yet to come out yet what was the hardest part of a competition like this the time frames I went in with the mentality that everything is impossible we have eight hours to make a house and at home I can spend eight hours making a couch so we'd make the impossible possible eight hours to make an entire house yes <laughs> oh my gosh I can just imagine the fire inside when you're doing that the anxiety must be at like an all-time high yes oh my it's gosh. crazy yeah <laughs> Briar of the things on the table here what would be your favorite thing I think the psychic house I made here is my favorite it was the first time I'd ever done landscaping so all of this grass I applied as well and so I was really impressed with how my skills develop making that gosh even the chain link fence looks real Briar, this is so cool. Very, very cool. Great to meet you. Yes, thank you. Good luck on the competition. Thank you so much. Okay, so you can watch uh, Briar in season two of Best in Miniature on CBC Gems starting February 19th. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.